think we've got a Susan taking on the role of a guard dog. And Buddy, our dog, taking on the role of a goat. <laughs> Chickens all really enjoy that. Yeah, that one chicken that's been yelling. She keeps going to nesting box, to nesting box, pecking at the hay, trying to pull it out. <laughs> and I would say it looks like you've got a couple of helpers there with Daisy and Clover, but more like you've got a couple of little pains in the butts. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she says I just want to help. Eat all the chicken food. Yeah. I don't want to help. Whoa! <laughs> Clover. <laughs> Since the coop already got cleaned out, the chickens are so happy they've already laid a few eggs for us. I'm going to show you all the difference between the fake eggs and the real eggs. For one, the fake eggs are extremely dirty. Okay? <laughs> Feel the difference. This one's a lot lighter. This one in here. See the difference? Mm-hmm. What we can do, guys, is we'll get a marker and we'll put a mark on them. Yeah, we bought some fake eggs from Tractor Supply because uh, we read that it encourages them to start laying and actually it looked like it did work for us because only I think it was four days after we first put the fake yeah. eggs in was when they started laying so yeah, we're just but, keeping uh, them in there to encourage them a bit more okay. but they seem so tickled with the clean nesting boxes Y'all get the, the one clean out of the coop that we're already she getting a bunch of eggs this morning we had one in one well it's lunchtime. Yeah, the camera put over there. Oh, the camera said there was only four. Three more. I'm pretty sure there's one more. Oh, yeah, she went up there earlier. The Let's pink ones are the dirtiest. Okay, hold on. Oh, Joe. Okay, so these two top ones here are the, are the fake. Are the fake ones. So, so we got far, four eggs. One, two, three, four. Well, now we got five eggs then, because we had one this morning. Oh, there was one this morning too. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we got five eggs so far today. I just want to show you guys this Susan here. Hey Susan, you look comfy cozy. Hold on. So I think we've got a Susan taking on the role of a guard dog. And Buddy, our dog, taking on the role of a goat. <laughs> Health update with the kids. I have just been told that apparently Tom needs to be carried everywhere because his elbows hurt. <laughs> yeah, makes perfect sense. That's the Irish logic for you. Oh. Hey, Tom. Yes. Tom. Yes. Why do you have to be carried? Because. Why can't you walk? Because. what? My elbows hurt. They do? And it means you can't walk. Why do they hurt? Because. Just because? Because you didn't mm -hmm. fall, did you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? When was it? 
few days ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we hope your elbows feel better here soon so you can walk again. So there you go, everybody. If your elbows hurt, yeah. that means you need carrying or a wheelchair. Because yeah. you just cannot walk. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh, you gonna go tell Susan your elbows hurt? I want to go back Sit. Oh, you gonna sit with Susan? Yeah. You gonna guard the house with her? Okay, so. You got a wet butt. Oh, Susan says, time to switch. <gasps> yep, shift switching. Now it's your job to guard the house. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a guard dog when you've got goats and kids? Daisy. Daisy? Yeah. She's over there playing. No, Daisy. Yeah. So we just got a new mattress and we chucked our old one out here. And as you can see, uh, Daisy and Clover are obviously helping us out. Daisy's saying, my mattress. I mean Clover. Not Daisy. one of the wettest summers I've known since living here and even though it's been great for all our veggies and everything we are so glad to finally get a good few days of nice warm dry sunshine <laughs> now it's a bit cooler than summer but this is my favorite time of year is fall because it gets a bit cool in the morning cool in the evening but nice and warm in the day but we're just so glad to finally have it dry after a good few days of rain because it means we're having our first fall cookout yeah seems like we find any excuse to have a cookout but 
we enjoy it and it's a nice way for us to have all the family come together and you may notice I do a whole lot of baby wearing And Ellie is a really good baby, but she just likes to hang out with the mom and help me out with stuff. And at the end of the day, this is a season, and I know I'll miss it when she's not wanting to be worn and carried around so much, so I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. Ooh. It's a monkey Joe! <laughs> Go on, go for it. Nope. <laughs> Danny, have you picked me up high enough so I can freeze real high? Oh, the girlies are getting a treat. Yeah, we threw a tree down. Where if you can make that higher? Nope. That good, Tom? Danny, yeah, you know what? And what are you guys doing? Forting. We're making a fort. Forting. You're forting? <laughs> Fording. We're building a fort. Huh? We're building a fort. Cool. What the heck? What the heck is this crazy? <laughs> you figure it out. Any which way? You got tied to the stick. Not See y'all are busy. That's going to be an awesome fort when it's done. <laughs> I didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah, We're in the know. woods, so in case you can't hear him. Oh, Isn't that right, Joe? Yep. yep. We don't half like our cookouts, do we, Sean? And I think you got somebody behind you hoping you're gonna drop something. Yeah. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> no, not Joe, buddy. <laughs> I don't think Joe wants you to drop anything. <laughs> Extra dirt flavour. Oh, buddy. You hoping you'll get something? He's already eating some taters. Ooh. Well, that's it. You spoil him. He's like, right, I got my tater. Where's my burger? I work every day, so either get free breakfast or free dinner. <laughs> 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 Like you missed it to Peppa! Okay. Third bite. Ellie wants to join in. She wants to eat us some mashed tato. Oh yeah, Dad. You got your tongue out there. <laughs> She's like, quick, get it in, get it in. She's got her foot in your tater. Oh no. Tater toes. Yeah, little tater toes. Not tater tots, tater toes. Whoa. She's eyeballing it now. She's like, he put it down. I can get it myself. <laughs> Don't brush your hair with that. Good thing it ain't got no barbecue sauce on it. That's the hamburger. Katie Lynn, what you doing? Attack of the goats. You don't know what you're doing with God. And Joe. Yeah. Yeah. They already got a table. Get the roof on. Will was making stairs. He's putting stairs over there, even though it ain't near a doorway. He's putting stairs on the side. Yeah. And don't you know you need to deck out tables, chairs, stairs before you've even got a roof. Yep. Well, technically, the roof's there. We just ain't put it on yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a sunroof. You just take it off when you need to. Make people jealous. A sunroof and a rainroof. And a rainroof. <laughs> yeah. It's got the roof joists and everything up there. Somewhere. 
Just ain't gonna keep it very dry. Just ain't gonna keep it very dry. Danny told you, we brought us some good stuff. Yeah, y'all's makeshift s'more. It's not good stuff. It's not it's cold s'mores. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, move this. Come sit down. We, we gotta explain. Right. I Logic know. lesson 101 for not s'mores. Yeah. Alright. I'm there. So, okay. We are getting a bit annoyed now. Every time you do s'mores, Break your graham crackers, they sometimes break into more pieces, same with your chocolate, or then your chocolate slides off. So, I saw online, I don't even remember when or where, but where they got cookies that's covered with chocolate on one side. And then you still toast your marshmallow, and you put your cookies as a sandwich. And we came up with a name for it, didn't we? Yeah. Not small, it's cuddles. Goodlies. Goodlies, huh? We're gonna have some goodlies. But that stuff actually looks pretty neat. You're saying it's, you know, put a picture over the chest. Oh, the rattling bug, the bug down in the valley. Oh, oh, the rattling bug, the bug down in the valley. Oh, <laughs> think she's gonna be our little Irish dancer. Did I get you? Did I get you? You're gonna get you. Why? You like that? And on this branch there was a twig, a real twig, a rattling twig. A twig on a branch and a branch on a limb and a limb on a tree and a tree and a bug and a bug down in the valley. Oh, oh, oh the rattling bug, the bug down in the valley. Oh, oh, oh the rattling bug, the bug down in the valley. Oh.